Hi, I am going to walk you through how to get your t-shirts and anything else you want to include in your quilt labeled and ready to send my way um, so I can get started on your project. So the first thing we want to make sure is that anything that you're going to include, and it doesn't have to just be t-shirts, it can be um, shorts, it can be um, sweatpants, it can just be um, a piece of cloth from another um, object that you want to include. Um, as long as it can be laundered, washed and dried in a um, washing machine, we can do our best to include it. If you have questions about an item, let me know and we'll, we'll make that decision before you send it to me, okay? So I'm just gonna walk you through um, shirts today, but um, the same process is gonna apply to anything that you want to send to me, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna so, show you some of the more traditional shirts that you probably are gonna send my way. Um, and just give you a couple things to think about um, before you send them to me, all right? So um, this is probably the most traditional one that I'll see, right? It's got a graphic on the front, um, and sometimes it'll have a graphic on the back. So this shirt, I could get two blocks out of. So I could have a block from here and a block from here. You may not want two blocks, and I'll show you how you're gonna communicate that to me. Um, another common one that I have, are just these small, um, like up in the corner um, graphics. Those are great for, um, especially if you're doing the collage quilts, those will be great for those smaller blocks. Uh, and so you might have that. This one also has a um, graphic on the back. So again, I could get two blocks out of that one. This is another t-shirt, same process. It's got the, or same sort of situation. It's got a graphic on the front it's got a graphic on the back, but it's also got a graphic on the sleeve. So I could use all three of those and create um, three different sized blocks. Again, that's great for those collage quilts. You just need to think about what you do and don't want me to include in the quilt. All right. Um, long sleeve shirts are great too. Um, this one's an example. It's got a graphic on the front a big, big, big graphic on the back. I enjoy those different size graphics. And then this one has graphics down both sleeves. So, um, and it doesn't have to be a graphic. I've done um, uniforms that have really cool sleeves, like stripes and things down the sleeves. Um, and so I can include that too. So it doesn't always have to be a graphic, um, but anything that's sort of unique, I like to include. Um, and that might even be something silly like a tag or the inside of a collar. So different shirts are gonna have different qualities, so make sure you, you look at them. Sometimes they'll have um, logos or patches down by the, cop, by the um, cuff or down in the lower, um, down by the lower hem. I don't have any with that, but sometimes they'll have a little icon down here. Um, I can always turn those into small patches too. So just when you're looking at your shirts, really take a second to look at all the different pieces and parts and um, think about what you want me to include. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, a sweatshirt. Sweatshirts are fine, um, as long as they aren't super duper heavy. So this is an example of a sweatshirt, and why I like this one is I like the ring collar. Um, so like this ringer tee kind of look. Um, and so I would try to, on this one, incorporate that collar. So if there's something that you like, um, that's not necessarily graphic, but it's something that's cool about the shirt or the shorts, um, you're gonna to need to let me know, okay? So here's how you're gonna let me know. You're gonna use blue painter's tape and a Sharpie. So we don't wanna use masking tape. We don't wanna use duct tape. That can ruin your shirt um, and the graphics and we don't wanna do that. So this is safe stuff and it will stick. So things like post-it notes will fall off, so don't use those. Um, so let's just talk about what you need to think about. So if you have a shirt and there's, um, you're fine with all the things being used on it, you can just send me the shirt as is, you don't have to put anything on it, and I'll know that you're okay if that shirt or a piece of that shirt, like the sleeve, gets into the quilt or not. Especially with collage quilts, um, it's a puzzle. So sometimes I might be looking for a six by six inch square to fill and this would be great for it. So um, 
if you send me a shirt with nothing on it, that tells me you're fine if those get into the quilt or if they're left out of the quilt. If there's something you really want me to know, you gotta tell me. So the easiest thing to do, like if you wanted this shirt and you only wanted the front logo, the easiest thing for you to do is to grab your tape and I would do it while it's on the roll. Don't put the tape on your shirt and then put it on there because you don't wanna risk the Sharpie. So I'm just gonna write on here, I'm just gonna take my Sharpie, I'm just gonna say front logo only. It doesn't have to be neat as long as I can read it. I'm a teacher, I can read just about anything. So it, that's what I'll have on here. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna rip it off, and then I'm just gonna take it and put it right on the front of this shirt. Now, so it's gonna look like this, all right? Notice I didn't put it across the graphic. I put it right under the graphic. And you don't need to tape off like, here's where I want the graphic. You don't have to do anything that because I'll measure it all out. Um, and you just label it and you would send that to me. So if I got this shirt, I would know that I am not going to use this and I'm not going to use that. Okay? That's what this tells me. So you can communicate to me however you want. You can say, just use this. You can say, use everything but this, right? Any way you wanna communicate that to me is great, all right? Um, the more you communicate, the better. And if I have questions, I'll send you a picture and I'll ask you the question. So blue tape and a Sharpie for any, um, for any um, shirt that you don't want me to use the whole thing, all right? If there is something that you are absolutely, you absolutely want me to do, put that on a piece of blue tape and include it. So like on this one, if you absolutely wanted me to include the red collar, put a blue piece of blue tape on here and say, um, please include red collar in this block or something like that, okay? Um, again, paper, or sorry, the blue tape, and the Sharpie, and you can leave me as much note as you want. This is a thick piece of tape. I like it because I can put more stuff on here. You don't have to, you can use the thin one, but um, this is sort of like a big sticky note that's gonna stay put. So that's how you're gonna mark your shirts. So once you've got your blue tape on all the ones that you have uh, specific information you wanna communicate to me, you're just um, gonna fold them up, put them in a box and send them my way. Make sure before you put that blue tape on it though, that you wash and dry them all. We wanna make sure that the shirts are in really good condition because it's the main fabric of your quilt. And so you want really strong um, shirts sent my way. Shirts that are really old or shirts that are really worn are likely to wear out quicker and then your quilt's gonna need to be um, mended or um, repaired, which can be a chore sometimes. So make sure you think about the quality of your shirt um, before you put it in your quilt because that's going to impact the quality of your quilt. Okay. So again, if you have questions, let me know. I've also included a little sheet with these information uh, typed out, um, but always don't hesitate to send me an email and we'll get it figured out. This is going to be a fun project.